Okay guys, welcome to another ZBrush tutorial. Okay, so uh, at the moment what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use some of the features of Z Remesher 3. And that is uh, the detecting the polygroups or the flow of topology over a model. So what I've got here is I've got a simple sphere which I'm going to make a poly mesh 3D. And in fact what I'm going to do straight away is make it more polygonal by going into our Z remesher and I'm going to leave everything as it is I'm not changing anything I'm just going to say the same amount of polygons and I'm just going to hit the remesh this will give me a nicely quadded mesh without poles as you can see right so uh, what I want to do now is I want to subdivide this up a few times so I'm going to subdivide it up to about level four something like that and um, if we have a look at topology now it's quite dense so I'm now gonna mask on just using the control key I'm just gonna mask on a little bit of something cool um, something cool something rubbish in that case so let me just go here and choose the control key and just go on to something like a circle just drag that out like that okay so um, what uh, Zebri Mesh can do is it can actually uh, detect or it can actually flow around polygroups, which is very cool. So what I'm going to do is I'll put a little piece in there and I'm going to do another little um, kind of mark in here. Something like, let me just take it out of this now and uh, just add a little bit of flow to this. Something like that. Looks a bit like a quotation mark. Okay, and I'm just going to harden this up, Control alt and click. And I'm going to make this its own polygroup now. So if you come under the uh, polygroups and you just hit um, the group masked from masking, that'll do that. Or you can press Control w which is quicker, like that. Okay, so there we go. At the moment, you can see our edge flow is uh, just, uh, it's kind of a quadded model. So it's just giving us this sort of stuff. So let's have a look and I will take this tool and duplicate it out. You don't need to do this. I just want to show you a before and after. And let's go in and take this. Let's go down to the Z remesher now under geometry. And I'm going to um, I actually have half the amount of polygons. And I'm going to say, right, OK, so can you please keep groups? And uh, I haven't activated legacy. Um, I'm just doing it in Z remesher 3.0. And we're just going to hit that and watch what's going to happen you're going to see the topology flow around the groups which is very cool so we'll let that do its stuff and there we go so now we have a beautiful topology running around our tool now we could half this again or we could actually come in here and put an amount in here if i just put in something like eight thousand polygons and I just hit the remesher again it will still keep these kind of group borders and it will reduce the poly count down like that so there we go so it's reduced it all down what's good about this now is we've got clean flow so if I use something like the Z modeler brush and come over here and just said um, the islands and Q mesh go over this and I could drag this out oh hold on let me just go polygroup island put it over here and grab this and move it out and just click once on here what we've got now is a clean flow on this now I can of course crease some of this um, I could crease these edges and keep it creased or I could just hit the subdivision so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to crease the edges so I'm going to go in here I'm going to go crease edge loop complete I'm going to click here I'm going to click here I'm going to click on this edge uh, well, hold on this edge here Ooh, that's a bit all over the place all right let's go to let's just reverse up a couple and just go to creases and hit this tolerance crease okay so that's added an, an edge on this edge so now if I divide this up I'm gonna get really smooth geometry and really a kind of hard surface look on that um, so very effective way of doing it and we've created new geometry coming out of it so that's how we can use this new feature inside of ZBrush 2019 and Z Remesher 3 to actually keep the polygroups and also flow 
the edge around it and we're not stuck there because if I go and put something else in here um, like this let me just reduce this down actually I'll keep it high and harden it press ctrl W Oop. form a group and Z remesher again and keep that um, gonna get it to detect edges this time so it will detect these edges on here and then we're just gonna hit the Z remesh got the polygon polygon count 8000 again so it will reduce it down but it will keep these edges and you're going to see that um, edge flow flowing around the edge of this masked out area that I've got here as you can see around there and it's kept these groups in there lovely so I could come over this area now and I could pull that out like that of course I haven't hardened this edge so if I subdivide this now it will kind of smooth out the edge on these edges and the same as that as well you can see how we can generate really clean geometry um, and also keep change the flow of the topology based on this now which is very cool indeed now you can also go in and select part of the mesh and just retopologize that so if i was to press ctrl shift and, and drag across this part of the model i could retopologize just this area so we turn that polyframe on there i've now i've got that in there what i'm going to do is keep it the same and i'm going to click hit the remesher there and what you're going to see is it will just work on this visible part of the model like that so now we have different flow over that it's also polygrouped it so control shift and if you look at the very edges it will actually merge this stuff together so it will actually bind that stuff together on the edge it'll actually weld and it'll create those bits in there so if I wanted to change this now and say right okay well I'm actually going to do a body gone count of let's say 1500 and I hit the remesh then we're going to get a different result in here it should be a bit clearer for you guys to see once I've done this so there we go and you can see it's actually bound it's a much less of a mesh in that area now but it's actually tried to as much as it can uh, weld the edges with what what is also going on so very powerful obviously you wouldn't go to this extreme but I just wanted to show you so that means like for poly groups like this if you wanted to reevaluate this or drop it down I could press control shift on this piece here and then control shift and all on this piece to get rid of it and I could say right okay well I only want this one this part of the polygon to be like 2000 so I can hit that and that and the hidden part will also be affected because it will join it up to this part that we've got visible so let's see that okay so there you go and you can see around the edges it's actually tried to match everything around those edges as well which is very cool indeed let's just use a smooth brush on this area I'll just bring this down to division one and you can see it is actually cleaned up that edge if I look at it now you can see it's actually split it so this is a denser mesh on this side this side is less but it's actually done all the splits for us and connected it all up so that it remains like one mesh almost like um, the sculptress does with the brush size so like with sculptress you know you paint over this and it adds it adds divisions into it so if I bring this down uh, you need to get rid of that so I get rid of higher but you can see that it will add more geometry to it if I've got sculptress turned on you can see it's redone all this area it's adding an extra level of detail in here which is kind of what it's done for this so it's very cool using this new Z Remesher 3.0 feature in ZBrush 2 2019 so I hope you've enjoyed that and there's a ton of different uses for this um, very powerful very effective